So this is Battle in the Beyond, a partnership between ETH Lizards and Alluvium. I'm gonna start right out with a battle myself and then I'm gonna get into a little more of the details here. So I'm gonna create my own battle. Now there's gonna be different options coming soon. Tactical, team brawl, tournament, even wagering or staking some ETH on it. But with the options we have right now, head to head, I'm gonna go with, you can go standard or mega. I'm gonna go with a standard disc. Then you could do one disc, three disc or five discs. I'm just gonna do one real quick. So now I'm going to search. It's gonna pull up the discs I have in my IMX wallet, which I've linked to Battle in the Beyond. And with any linking of your wallet, make sure you're getting the right address here. So I'd recommend going into the Alluvium announcements thread and using that link to get to Battle in the Beyond or in the ETH Lizards thread. So I'm gonna choose my one disc here and I'm going to load up the disc. So now what's happening is I'm showing up on the battles thread and someone can accept my challenge. Now there's not a ton of volume on here right now, but every time I've looked at that balance thread, there's not a whole lot of challenges just sitting there. Usually they get picked up pretty quick. I'm gonna see what happens if I click return to lobby here. You can see that I am sitting there waiting for someone to join and there's another battle created uh, right above me that's also waiting for someone to join. This uh, lizard zoo should have just accepted my challenge. We're gonna rejoin and see if we can get someone to accept it. All right, here we go. So we found an opponent. So now it's gonna prompt me to open this disc. So I'm signing on my hardware wallet. If you don't have one of those, I do highly recommend it. You can check out the links in the description below. All right, here we go. I'm gonna skip this to get in here. All right, so my opponent already pulled a hollow. Not very good. So you're gonna click right here. And I got an air doga. Now this is very typical of me. I like to lose at these. I'm gonna get someone with a five win, five loss. But what's gonna happen is they're gonna add up your two scores, add up the percentages of the accessories, and you're just gonna get a win loss. So hopefully my non tier zero is pretty good because I'm already up against the hollow. Now it makes you go one in one. You can't just reveal all five of yours right away, but it makes it a little more fun. I wanna see what he reveals. Oh man, an Arkelion. All right, I'm probably gonna lose this one. Let's click it. Um, yeah, yep, I lost. But let me show you what this is all about. So I'm gonna to return to lobby here. So as you can see, if you click the battle, you get the rundown of the last battles. You can check the results here. I can click on the results of what I just did. This is better luck next time, it knows it's me. If I wanted to join, join another one, so this one's up here for one mega disc, I would just click join. Again, it would prompt my wallet of, you know, picking my mega disc and I would accept the battle that way. So there are leaderboards and leaderboard rewards here. So there's actually three leaderboards. There's a standard leaderboard, a mega leaderboard, and then a free leaderboard. Now, in order to compete in the standard and mega leaderboards, you need to get the Liz Pass, which I'll get into in a second. But if you click on View Leaderboard, you just rank by the highest disc score you got. So in first place, Mal Phantom was able to pull two hollows, one of them being a hollow monarch, and that disc had a score of 4387. So, you know, he or she is sitting in that first spot. I'm down at a, at a low 56 ranking right now, but I do plan on playing this more. Now, if you go over to the mega leaderboards, you know, in theory, these scores should be higher. In first place is a pork lamb. Again, with two hollows, looks like that's probably what you're gonna need if you wanna be in that first place. And then the third leaderboard is just based on how many discs you actually open. So every standard disc you open, you get one point. Every mega disc you open, you get six points. And then your combined total is what's gonna place you on this leaderboard. Now I've only opened five discs and I'm sitting in 51st place. So keep that in mind when we look at the leaderboard rewards. Okay, so if we go down here, so the free leaderboard, these are actually some really good prizes here. So first of all, these leaderboards are gonna pay out at the end of each season, which this season, technically ends on January 31st, according to the Liz passes. So although these rewards are really good, it's not paying out on a weekly basis like the Alluvium rewards. It's gonna be paid out on a, on a per wave basis. So after wave two is done, that's when you get the payouts. First place is gonna receive five mega discs, uh, a one of 48 lore NFT and 1000 of the Liz coin. The Liz coin is not out right now, so we don't really know what its value is. But I think by the time we get into the, the next season, we'll probably have a value on that. I think the token might be out at that point. And then you'll get an, an elemental lizard, which is part of the ETH lizards gaming ecosystem that they're building out right now. So then you can go down, you get second and third place, fourth through 10th. And even as you get down into, you know, 11th through 100th place, pretty decent rewards. You end up in the top 100, you get a free standard disc, a rare NFT, 100 Liz coin. If you want to get one of those elemental lizards, you're going to have to be in the top 50. But this is just for the free leaderboards. So this is without buying a Liz pass. So here are the rewards for the standard in Mega 
So if you get first place, you're looking at 10 mega discs, a legendary one of one lore NFT. There's gonna be a lot of people fighting for that. And 2,500 Liz coin and one elemental lizard. Now, I'm not gonna read through all these, but now if you're looking at the 51st through 100th place, again, one standard NFT, a rare NFT, 200 Liz coin, and an elemental lizard. Now for the standard and mega leaderboards, you do need to buy a Liz pass. So you are investing a little into this. And you know there's gonna be a lot of people who don't want to invest into it, even at a pretty low price, um, which I'll show you in a second. I think it comes out to around, you know, 20 or so dollars. So if you're willing to pay that $20, I think there's a good chance, at least in this first season, that you get into this top 100 and you get some of these rewards. So moving over to the Liz Pass, there are three different Liz Passes here. Like I said, one for the standard pass, which is gonna get you onto that standard leaderboard. One for the Mega Pass, get you onto that Mega leaderboard. And then you have the, the combo discount, which will get you onto both standard and mega leaderboards. Now I've already purchased this, so can't click on it right now. So I believe for the standard and the mega pass, they were both 0.011 ETH, which if I'm looking at right now is about $20 a piece. If you get the combo, a little bit of a discount on that. And as you can see right here, there's an OG discount going on. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last. It says limited time, but you can get an additional 30% off of that. So if you wanna get onto both leaderboards, you're probably investing about $35, $40 in addition to the discs that you're buying. But I think the rewards are gonna be pretty good. So that about sums it up for the this partnership between Alluvium and ETH Lizards, uh, the battle and the beyond. My final take is that if you're gonna be opening these discs anyways, it's a no brainer to do it through Battle in the Beyond, just for that free leaderboard. And if you're looking at the leaderboards, think that you have a decent amount to open. I can't really put a number on that right now. But basically, if you're an active participant in here, in Alluvium Beyond, you should probably just get that Liz Pass and get on the leaderboards and try to get some more of these rewards. Especially early on in this initial season and the next season, before we get all of these millions of players into Alluvium that we want. But I hope this helps, helps you understand it a little bit, bring some awareness to this platform. And if you have any questions, leave it in a comment down below. Like, subscribe. I'll catch you later.